Hey guys, so um, you're gonna see a little change in lighting and stuff because this is after the look. I usually always do my intros before ish. So this is the look. Um, it's the same one I did for the contact video for Solarica. If you want to check that out, check that out. Um, this is for the comparison one where I show all the lighting and shit. Um, I use this lighting most of the time. I started off with a little bit of daylight, but it was too late in the day. Like I still haven't broken my habit and I'm about to start school soon. So, you know, pray for me. So yeah, this is a look. It's really easy. It's really simple. I mean, I just wanted to be a short sort of point video. It's going to be a little bit of voiceover and a little bit of um, me talking like a talk through type of thing. Um, I just want to keep this short. So I'll see y'all next week. Please. Tell me how you feel about this lighting because if we can work with this lighting then we got a lot of videos coming if we can't then i'm gonna try to get some out as often as i can because class for me ends pretty late the sun starts going down like around four something and like i said it doesn't even hit my fucking window straight up so i gotta work with what i gotta work with so let me know please i'll let y'all Check the video, like I said, you know, we're still working with the intro, outro type of thing, but yeah, we're gonna get through this. I'll see y'all later. Bye, guys. So, quick as fuck, I'm just putting on my photo finish, photo finish primer water from Smashbox, and then quickly dabbing on my Cover FX color cracking stick in the shade orange. I really fuck with this. I just have to tap it out a bit and blend it out with my finger, and then we're all set for foundation. Yo, this foundation is lit as fuck. I never thought I'd be like all about that, you know, drugstore foundation life, but this shit is lit. Like it actually fills in my pores. That's my issue. I have huge ass pores, huge. I'm talking huge, like on my cheeks. This part of my cheeks, I can literally see them on my mirror and my nose, but those are like acne scars. Like I used to have really, really bad pimples on my nose and I would pop those shits like I didn't give a fuck. No. That shit like bit me in the ass. Like they're horrible. Poor central right there. So right now I'm just shaking up the foundation just in case there's any oil sitting there. I'm just shaking it up to get it ready. So this is a Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless. And I just fucking love this foundation. I'm using the shade 228 Soft Tan. This is perfect for like all of tone girls like me. Um, this foundation definitely gives out most of the claims it really fills in my pores gives me the seamless finish it has some nice coverage but it does set on its own so you have to be really really fucking quick with your blending and also really fast to um apply cream contour because if it dries you're fucked and it's like hella patchy but you can always put some jojoba oil to really blend it out um i'm just gonna go in with my la girl pro conceal this is in the shade toast um i don't really like to say it's a contour shade just because it is like super warm and just for the sake of it being so um the foundation being already set I'm gonna do everything like one at a time so it won't really dry out on me. So for this makeup, I actually used um, the Maybelline Insta Age Ruin Concealer. So I'm just gonna dab that on. So y'all already know how I feel about this fucking concealer. I mean, it's pretty legit if you're just looking for something light, something affordable, just something quick for an everyday type of look. But honestly, it's really not for and really like beat face or anything like that the sponge really really fucks it up like the applicator kills it for me but moving on um the contour i totally went heavy-handed as you can see this product is super super pigmented so um i definitely should have gone just a bit more low-key with it but i have a method i go in with what i blended out my concealer foundation over on top of the contour i'm just showing out here and then i go again with my contour sponge and just to really Make the colors seamless, but not lose them with each other, if that makes sense. All you really need, like, ear down. All I do is go down like that. Like that. So, you see how it naturally flows. So I just take my black beauty blender and I just blend that shit out. 
Y'all, you, you see what I mean? Like, this shit is powerful as fuck. It's cause I don't like it when it dries because I don't like to only put oil on one side of my face. Like, I have this thing. It's like, not all the time, but most of the time. I don't know why or anything, but if, okay, let's say I'm at a store and my dad, he's like, oh, try it on, like, see if this medium fits. Cause I'm like between medium or large. So he's like, oh, try this on. So I try it on and like, I just put it on my arm to see how my arm's doing, whatever. And he's just like, okay, it's fine, whatever. I can't, like, we can walk away, but I'll literally, sometimes I'll literally go back, like just even talking about it. And I'll just put my arm like on the other one, like just on this one though. Cause then if I put on this one again, then I feel like I did it twice. So then I gotta do it two times. I don't know, it's not always, it's not always, but it's like most of the times, like if my brain is just like triggered, someone hits me here and I'm just like, I have to feel on the other side. Like I'll literally be like, hit me. Yeah, that's, you know, I try to figure it out online, like, what the fuck do I have? Why do I have it? I'm taking psychology and, like, my teacher has not talked about that. I don't want to ask. Not the type of bitch to ask, but I really want to know, like, why? So I'm going to use that Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is in the shade Ebony. I used to use granite, but that shade was, like, too gray for my skin tone. So we're just going to use that. And they don't have that arch because I used to get my brows done for $7, which is, like, not the best. And I don't know what the fuck. But that bitch thought I wanted really thin eyebrows. I was born with unibrow, and if you're a unibrow gang, you know that your eyebrows are thick as fuck. So she really fucked it up for me. But I got my brows done by this girl named Brows by Gucci. I know her. Yo, she saved my life. So she's still saving. Like, she's so smart. I don't have to tell her not to take off the little fucking hairs on there. Like, it's like she already knows. I'm not really gonna clean the top because the banana shade from the ABH. Cream contour palette is really light and this is a medium so like honestly the, like they gotta fix that shit so i'm gonna clean up the bottom this is an r44 brush by the way so here we go again with the same concealer this is a maybelline instant age rewind in the shade medium by the way um i'm just gonna be really simple about this it sucks the formula is decent Good coverage, maybe. Um, sucks that you have to pat it on because it doesn't give you full pimp right away. So you click, 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 just for a to dry, just so you find yourself clicking, clicking again. So overall, decent formula, but not worth buying over and over again. So while you see me blending it out, I'm trying not really to touch that cream where I cleaned up my eyebrows because I really want that a really small, light line just so it looks like I just got my brows done. So that's just like my little trick for um, a fresh face. So, a little bit about this powder though. This is a Maybelline Shine Free Loose Powder. I'm using shade 02 here. I use a shade um, light 01 when I really want a little pop on the high points of my face. Yo, I'm just going to make it simple. You want a light, non-cakey, poreless powder? This is it. This is your go-to holy grail product, I promise you. So quickly moving on, I'm using a contour shade from ABH in Fawn and a Morphe 141 brush. This brush is amazing, gives you no harsh lines. I love this for the forehead. But just to be a little bit more precautious, I'm getting my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder in Champagne 03. And again, grabbing another Morphe brush in M105 and really going in and softening those edges with the nice cream color. So here I'm grabbing my Too Faced. Um, chocolate soleil bronzer in a deep tan this one does run a little orangey so you do want to be a little light and use a fluffy brush and not a really condensed brush like i'm using here this one by the way is a morphe m523 and i'm using havana just to really bring in a neutral shade to act as a contour so here i'm just grabbing a fluffy but flat sonia kashuk brush and i'm going in again with the abh contour shade and fawn just to really mimic those shadows that my nose already have Remember to go under the brows because that's how the natural shade is So I just see that a lot and I just wanted to mention it like super quick because it freaks me out Like why wouldn't you do that? So here I'm going in with max gingerly my favorite blush and I'm using an e3 brush from morphe Can I even talk about that? So again y'all know the drill I'm highlighting wetting it out I'm using a m501 brush from morphe this one really blends out the product and by the way, I'm using Joseph Colors Baked Highlighter in Sunkissed and ABH 
highlighter in dripping and gold. This was a perfect combo for this bronze look. I just am obsessed with gold highlighters. I love the pigmentation. I, I know I never did a final review, but fuck yo. I'm gonna just do that shit now. I fucking love this palette. Like, it's so pigmented. So, and I, there's like quite a bit of some fallout on certain. So, my phone cut me off. So, I was just talking about how lit and pigmented these are, but that there's like a bit of fallout. Also, I was talking about how annoying it is, again, that the names aren't placed. Like, it says this is Topaz and it's Jasper. It is Goldstone, and on the back it says that it's Tiger Eye. So I was just using a detailed brush. I was talking about how you don't even have to wet these. Like, look at the pigment on that. Girl. You can see how much it opened my eye as well. So keep doing what I was doing. I'm just going to pop this in my other inner corner. Really quick. Look at that shit, yo. Tell me that shit is not pretty fucking popping. So since I really wanted this look to be minimal, I just popped in Jasper in the inner corner and Tiger's eye in the crease and on the under eye. It just really blends in with the face and the contour. Now for lashes, uh, I don't use like store-bought lashes. As you can find them online. I know um, other brands have the same style, but the brand name is different. So yeah, I use the 747 Elves, the large ones. So... I'm just gonna pop those in. I had completely forgot that I did some liner, but um, sorry, my eyelash is drying. It was just a simple, like, thick little line. I didn't really wing it out, just to lift the eyes a little bit and darken them up. This mascara is shit. It's really, really clumpy, and it's really hard to work with, and the brush is not really made to really separate them. It's just thick. It's a thick brush with a lot of mascara and, like, really short bristles. So. So I'm just going to do my bottom lashes and while my top lashes are drying and then I'm going to switch it up and, you know, merge them together. So I'm using MAC Spice. I'm just going to line my lips softly. I don't remember if I put on um, chestnut liner on, so I'm just going to put fresh brow on top of Spice, mostly in the center. I think I am going to put some chestnuts in it because it's looking a little beigey I fuck with it but people are so tired of me doing nude lips I love nude lips and then I lined my with the NYX wonder pencil this is